next to nuclear energy at Denver International Airport. Top officials now considering plans to build a nuclear reactor at DIA. Your reporter Alan Janae joins us live tonight. And Alan, the idea is that a nuclear reactor would help meet the airport's growing energy needs. Absolutely. You know, the more the airport grows, the more power it pulls. And now the city wants to study the feasibility of looking at what are called small modular nuclear reactors. This comes as Colorado law changes tomorrow the definition of nuclear energy to a clean energy resource. It looms on the east side of the metro area, a hub for transportation employing thousands, yanking down power to keep going. Denver International Airport is trying to ready for a future in which 120 million passengers make their way through here each year. Does it sound like a good answer for an airport at DIA, but given, given its power demands in the future? I think any large power consuming entity could benefit from nuclear power. Over at the Federal Center, School of Mines professor Thomas Albrecht keeps an office just a few dozen feet from Colorado's only current nuclear reactor. Yeah, the nuclear reactor is about, is about 50 feet to my right. Drawings of small module nuclear reactors probably leave the average person shrugging. You may not even see it because uh, many of the designs have the reactor underground. And so um, they're, they have a very small footprint, like a parking lot. No big cooling towers like large nuclear facilities we know. Albrecht sees reliability, consistent power, and versatility. You could put in one, um, you know, to meet your current needs. But the idea of many of these designs is you could keep adding them. But nuclear power brings to mind big disasters of the past. It's being sold that it's safer. It's being rebranded as advanced nuclear with new designs that have yet to be implemented. There's many are still in a prototype. Chris Allred and, and Jamie so Valdez are with Colorado Environmental Groups. They ask why not other clean sources, ones they believe are advancing faster. Those other energy resources don't produce waste that is as hard to deal with as radioactive nuclear waste. The question for small module nuclear facilities is similar to that of other power sources. Is this affordable enough yet? That is the big question. Big reactors are likely to have better economics. But as they get smaller, then this then it becomes a little more um, debatable. You know, Professor Albrecht notes that these reactors, which would be underground, would be safer in case a plane were to come down somewhere around the airport where it might be placed. And these newer style reactors also don't use water to cool them. They use either molten salts or liquid metals instead. Now, the National Renewable Energy Lab, by the way, is studying airports as power hubs because of their power demand and thinking about what kind of power they might need should planes go electric. Near DIA, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First. Great information as always, Alan. Thank you. Coming up, taking